welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral this question from um, university entrance exam uh, 2007 uh, sri lanka generally we call the exam uh, combined mathematics uh, this is uh, p of a for, uh, six question part c okay in the question uh, we have a condition uh, we should prove this statement by using integration by parts well how to begin okay first uh, i am going to take this integral integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the 6 power of x dx and now i am going to integrate by parts uh, so i am going to take sine raised to the fifth power of x as a first function then d by dx then uh, we know uh, next function sine of x so integration of sine of x we know minus cosine of x dx okay then uh, we know uh, product of these two functions so minus cosine of x times sine raised to the fifth power of x from 0 to pi over 2 then minus here also minus so plus integral from 0 to pi over 2 now derive this function so cosine of x then derivative of this function we know 5 times uh, sine raised to the fourth power uh, of x times according to chain rule derivative of sine x we know cosine of x so we can write cosine square of x dx now if we plug in pi over 2 and 0 we know this term will be 0 so now we have 0 to pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 now instead of cosine square of x I am going to write 1 minus sine square of x and here this 5 we can write outside of the integral sign here sine raised to the fourth power of x here 1 minus sine square of x dx now uh, if we simplify we will have 5 times 0 to 5 over 2 uh, sine to the fourth power of x times 1 so sine to the fourth power of x dx minus 5 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine to the 6 power of x dx okay then mm -hmm. we can take uh, this part uh, to left hand side so here minus 5 so plus 5 including this integral so 6 uh, 6 times 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the 6 power of x dx 6 times i am going to write 6 here 5 over 6 we know 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the fourth power of x dx okay well now uh, we prove this statement and then uh, i am going to take uh, this equation is uh, number one and now i am going to take integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the fourth power of x dx okay then uh, we can integrate uh, by using also parts so sine raised to the 3 power of x dx sorry d by dx uh, here integration of sine of x so you know minus cosine of x dx uh, then we know 0 to pi over 2 sine to the fourth power of x dx is equal to now uh, product of these two functions so and also limit 0 to pi over 2 we know in the previous question uh, this is equal to 0 so 0 then minus minus plus integral from 0 to pi over 2 now rewrite this function so cosine of x times derivative of sine cube x we know 3 times sine square of x times cosine of x we can write cosine square of x dx well then uh, instead of cosine square of x we can write again 1 minus uh, sine square of x so 1 minus sine square of x dx uh, then 
we can break this integral into two different integrals so 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine square of x times 1 sine square of x then minus 3 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine raised to the fourth power of x dx okay then um, now again we can take uh, this part uh, to left hand side so uh, then here this side 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the fourth power of x dx here 1 here 3 uh, so 4 so we can write 3 over 4 0 to pi over 2 sine square of x dx okay then uh, we know uh, our first equation uh, 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the 6th power of x dx is equal to 5 over 6 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine square of x sine to the fourth power of x dx we know sine to the fourth power of dx is equal to 3 over 4 integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine square of x dx now uh, we prove also this statement and now uh, we should prove sine square of x dx uh, this part is equal to 5 times pi over 32 okay now uh, then I am going to evaluate uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine square of x dx we have a condition we should uh, use integration by parts so um, again yes 0 to pi over 2 uh, I am going to take sine of x as a u then d by dx we know then uh, here uh, integration of sine of x we know minus cosine of x dx okay then here integral from 0 to pi over 2 integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine square of x dx is equal to now we know again uh, product of these two function and limit 0 to pi over 2 we know 0 then here minus so plus integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, now cosine of x uh, then uh, derivative of sine of x we know cosine of x so cosine square of x dx okay then uh, again we can write instead of cosine square of x 1 minus sine square of x dx okay then here we can break this integral into two different integrals so first one 1 times dx so integral from 0 to pi over 2 dx we know x from 0 to pi over 2 uh, minus integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine square of x dx okay then uh, we can take this integral into left hand side so 2 times 0 to pi over 2 sine square of x dx is equal to here pi over 2 so we know sine square of x dx is equal to uh, pi over 4 pi over 4 so we can write uh, now uh, 0 to pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the 6th power of x dx is equal to pi over 6 3 over 4 times sine square of x integral we know pi over 4 now we know this 3 get cancelled and the answer is 5 times pi over 32 ok we are done and uh, in this question also we have uh, uh, another part uh, so uh, the question is uh, hence hence evaluate uh, integral from 0 to pi over 6 sine raised to the 6th power of 3 times x dx ok now uh, to evaluate this integral uh, we can use a substitution so if we take 3 times x is equal to t now differentiate 3 times dx is equal to dt uh, then here we can write 
integral from limit uh, when x approaches 0 also 0 when x approaches pi over 6 we know pi over 2 pi over 2 sin raised to the 6 power of 3x is equal to t uh, dx is equal to dt over 3 so 1 over 3 we can write outside of the integral sign now 1 over 3 times uh, we evaluated this integral we know the answer is uh, 5 times pi over 32 so the answer is 5 times pi over 96 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching